Now, with the issue right now with Speaker Kofa, there's several ways that he can be able to address the resolutions and be able to understand how his friends and colleagues are going about the whole resolution. One of the ways that you should look at is, is transparency and accountability. Now, in presenting his defense, it has to be presented a transparent defense. Now, Speaker Kofa should address the accusations and all the reason beyond the resolutions publicly and transparently. And by clearly articulating his achievement, <laughs> like good English said, articulating equipment. Now, by clearly articulating his achievement, plan, and, 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 and commitment to the House of Representatives, he can be able to counter attack the, the narrative of calling for his resolutions. So that one of the ways that you can do it is more about transparency and accountability. So you show the people your plan, what you've been doing in the House of Representatives and things, that everything that they are saying, all your goals, all your achievements, everything that you have been doing, and everything that they are saying compared to now, you can be able to you know articulate those or uh, 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 achievement to, to your followers and, and those people and things. So this kind of way can be able to clear out all the narrative that they're trying to bring on onto your remover. Now these are things that you need to do. Then another thing is is that because by doing it or uh, you are trying to what strengthens the institutions of accountabilities. If the resolutions is driven by concerns about governance and, and, and or, 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 or the leaderships, then Speaker Kofa could introduce a reforms. Now, this reform will be able to enhance accountability and transparency in the legislative process. Such as improving reporting mechanism and increasing collaborations with key stakeholders. These are things that can help. For me, the how would take it. Look, you got to be calculative. Now, just one more thing I want to put on this thing there. The reason we're talking about transparency and properly addressing this thing, a hearing that the speaker want to go on spoon FN or one-on-one -on -one with the CEO to have a discussion on this. He should not do that. That would be a mistake. He had never appeared on the Spoon program before. This situation should not lead him to go and do that. He should invite other journalists. If you want to do social media, you should do it on your own platform. Or get a follow-up platform and do it. And let people see it. Let people ask you questions. Or go to a radio station Meet a journal uh, or let journalists and things like that call out journalists and things, invite the spoon network, invite other radios or uh, network and things, let them come have a set of discussion with you and open a special line. This is more about political maneuvering, about compromising issues, like in politics, human behavior. So open a special line. Some some of those lawmakers that have special that, that have concerns about they are supporting the resolution and thing, so you can have means of addressing them properly and be able to go through this kind of thing. These are some strategies and things that you can use. Yo, you know, crew men never know who that supporter is. I always see that with them. Crew men, crew men will support crew men, but crew men will go in and provide opportunity to another man instead of giving it the crew men. You gotta pay attention to people who support here. The issue right now, you have to take it to your supporter. Then they will be able to maneuver and be able to engage other stakeholders. But don't go to people who not support you and try to change them to support you. They're not operating like that. You can find other political influencer or stakeholders and things to get through the people. It's friendship. But for now, you need more support from the people who believe in you and say you are there. And then you address the issue with.
That's why I'm coming here to talk about. So this is all about to do. But later on, we'll be talking about there are a lot of things that we can do. There are four or five different things that can be addressed on the whole issue here. From open dialogue and, and, and some memorandum of understanding, we can be able to address the issue to some political negotiations and com compromising in the politics. But what I just spoke on was more about transparency and accountability in addressing this issue that is happening. But you can do a calculating bailing and negotiations and refunds. All of those things can be able to help. Or you can use formal legislative process that can make people to be able to you know, follow primarily and kind of get things going on. These are some things that can happen. So this is yeah, my one or two cents on the level of the thing, but a lot of things that we can focus on to be able to address the concern about the house. All right? To ensure the resolution process can be handled and maintained with integrity and understanding and any other dispute and thing, we can be able to do that. People get places that they can send the grievances and things, you can be able to understand what they're doing this thing for and address them. Those are things that can happen. Until then, we'll talk about this later on. Bye bye. This is being a presenter, GT2 by Wire. I'm feeling the vibes with originalhits.com. Get it, what I